Hey guys, up Sardic here at Old School Duels 12, and just let me complain. Hey guys, what's up? It's our dick here, old school duel is tell if you're screwing a quick message real quick, uh, that I'm apologizing for not getting it up on the Saturday that I wanted to, uh, it's just stuff got in the way, and, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Now, this is my new series, uh, where I'll be doing news and other news, or other YGO, or YGO, TCG Yu-Gi-Oh related stuff, uh, and also, if I have a topic, I'm definitely gonna complain about it. Now, I don't if something interesting comes up for OCG news, uh, then I will definitely let you guys know, which is actually surprisingly I have something that is, I think you guys will be interested to hear that could come to TCG. Uh, it's not confirmed yet, so I can't tell you anything, but it's something that is definitely for sure happening for OCG this weekend and for a little bit, probably for like the next like week, I think it's set for, but I'll be doing, uh, TCG news, or I'll be covering TCG related stuff, uh, yeah, TCG, other Yu-Gi-Oh, just Yu-Gi-Oh, TCG Yu-Gi-Oh related topics, and anything else that I just find really interesting, uh, that is related to Yu-Gi-Oh. Now, if I want to do, I know I play games on the channel too, I don't know if I'll be doing, um, Yu-Gi-Oh, or video game news as well, but that's something that's, the video games on the channel is more for for fun and I just want to do it because why not uh, but yeah so let's get into it Shining Victories has been out for about a week which uh, I I've yet to buy any Shining Victory packs yet uh, I plan to sometime next week uh, just when I have the time and the money or the extra money laying around uh, so yeah I, I want blue eye stuff that's the main reason why I want it there's blue eye stuff that I want and any other stuff that I can just get rid of for trade, like Cosmo, stupid Cosmo shit. And I hate Cosmos. You will hear that a lot. Um, but today, uh, so on May 4th, there is an interesting thing that I thought was really cool. Uh, it's called the, the Yu-Gi-Oh! School Tournament Series. Now, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Tool, or Stool, School Tournament Series is what it says. Uh, it is a organization, uh, is organized play program for schools. For different schools to participate in, uh, there is a lot of different things that go into it, kind of, sort of. Um, right now, at the moment, there are only two events that are scheduled for this, uh, for the school tournament series. Uh, it is, one is in Rhode Island, which is, happens May 28th, uh, 2016, at the Rhode Island Convention Center, and uh, the other one is June 18th at the Greater Columbus Convention Center. One is y, uh, YCS Providence, the other one is YCS Origins. I don't know what either of them are. I've never heard of them. I'm, so if there's something new, then go ahead and tell me what it is because I'm retarded. And uh, yeah, so it you have to be at least 13. Uh, you have to have at least at least 13 and enrolled in a school and proof that you are or proof that you are enrolled into a school. Uh, so you then you have to have your you either have have to have your school ID, uh, proof of enrollment, or an official grade card, uh, report card, transcript, stuff like that, uh, with the schools with your name and the school's name on it. Uh, you have to fill out the registration form. Obviously, it is ten dollars per team member, and you have to have, have uh, three people per team. It has to be three, no more, no less. Um, Maybe if you want to have, like, uh, only three people can play. Maybe you can have a fourth person for your stand-in. But there has to be at least three viable members. Viable. I guess you have viable's word. Uh, three people that can play and are eligible. First, second, and third, uh, that's, they, they will be doing rounds of Swiss. It just depends on how many people or how many teams show up. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys the... the the prizes for all three places. For third place, you get $250 donated to your school, plus six booster packs per team member, and an uncut 4x4 sheet per team member. I have no idea what that is. So if you guys can go ahead and tell me what that is, go ahead and post in the comments below, because I really don't know what that is. Um, second place gets $500. Wow, <clears throat> voice cracked. $500. Donated to your school, plus nine booster packs per team member, and again, the uh, uncut 4x4 sheet. Um, and then first place gets a plaque to show that your team won first place at the Yu-Gi-Oh! School Tournament Series. 
Uh, you get a thousand dollars donated to your school, twelve booster packs per team member, and once again, four by four cheat. I really don't know what that is. I probably should look that up. Um, but I, I don't really have any desire because I can't participate in it. So if you know if you're interested in it, go ahead and tell your school about it. Be like, hey guys, we can earn money for this kids game <laughs> for this card game that you have no idea what it is. Um, so yes, that's one thing that is uh, uh, news. The second thing is was published on YGO Pro. It's YGO Pro News. Um, it is published on May sixth. The new update for the Android app, uh, it is 1.4.13. Sorry, my face itches. I just got off work and my forehead itches really bad. But yes, the new update for uh, YGO Pro for Android is out. Now, if you have the program for your computer, obviously, you know, it updates automatically as long as your computer's on. Uh, but it updates all on its own. But now you can get the new updated version with the new ban list. Uh, packs from Shining Vict or the, you get the Shining Victories. Uh, they start showing off Dark Illusion packs, uh, the new movie pack, and pre-ordered cards. Uh, so, uh, yes, and also this keeps in line with the iOS. That's why it's 1.4.13 and not 1. Because the previous one was 1.4.10. This one is 1.4.13. Only reason why it's that and why it's 1.413 and it skipped 11 and 12 because the iOS app, uh, YGO Lite, I think, yeah, that's what it's called, YGO Lite. I'm assuming they just jumped with uh, what they kept up with it because iOS always gets better stuff. It's fucked up. Um, and uh, yes, the list, because the, all links to all, everything that I talk about is going to be in the description below, so you can read all the stuff yourself if you really want to, because I'm really, I'm mostly just uh, going over it. Uh, yeah, I'm just going over it, and just kind of, yeah, that's really about it. Just kind of giving you the rundown of what you guys, what the important parts are. Um... And yeah, so the list of cards that they added to the new thing are on this article and everything else. So this is OCG news, uh, but and this is something again. I only talk about OCG news if it is interesting to me, or at least it would be interesting and could pertain to us. Now, what is happening with this is uh, with the new movie, the Dark Side, uh, the new Yu-Gi-Oh movie, uh, which is already is. Out this weekend, uh, the fuck? My dog just like awkwardly sneezed. Anyways, so yes, if you haven't heard about the movie, and I will post an article to that explains the movie and everything else. The movie is currently out in Japan. It came out April twenty third, two thousand sixteen. Now it comes out internationally just late twenty sixteen. Uh, they keep saying summer they keep saying june so i have no idea cannot tell you when it comes out in international but i'll post a link explaining the whole movie the premise uh, really it's a giant spoiler i don't want to talk about it too much but i will tell you this uh cubic beast get introduced uh because of this movie blue eyes and dark magician get support uh there's a movie pack that comes with it if you want you can go check out cyber duelist uh, shout out to him because that's where I found out about uh, the Duelist pack. Um, but there's a Duelist pack that's going to be coming out with the movie. Uh, I don't know if you get them. I know they're going to have promos with the movie, and I don't know if but you, I don't know if you get the packs with the movie. I think you can buy the packs separately. Uh, so I don't really I don't have many too I don't have too many details on that. If you want, I will post a link of Cyber Duelist website uh, or Cyber Duelist explanation of the at least of what he knows of the pack because he has more information so yeah I'll post a link to that for him excuse me uh, but some the OCG news about the movie they're the promo that they're giving away they're distributing four movies or four cards uh, they only talked about one that are only found one they're able to or one that they're talking about its name is Muha the protector priest I have no idea I this is you no know, first time I'm even hearing about this card today. Muhad the Protector Priest. It is a level 7 light spellcaster. Attack is 2500, 2100 defense. 
Uh, it is a card effect types are trigger, continuous, and a trigger. I'm assuming it has three, um, but I'm only reading one. When this card, or when you draw this card, you can reveal it. Special summon on this card. If this card battles a dark monster, its attack becomes double its current attack damage, or during atta current attack during the damage step only. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon one dark magician from your hand, deck, or graveyard. Now, this is amazing. I don't know. I think I just peeked my microphone. Um, but this card actually is amazing. It's more support. Like I said, the movie pack is giving out... This movie is causing support for Blue Eyes because of Shining Victories. And they're going to get more support when the movie pack comes out. Uh, but Blue Eyes and Dark Magician and also the new introduction of Cubic Beast. Which Cubic Beasts are really interesting. Um, check out my tag duel. No, I'll just post the link in the description below. Of, the, of my tag duel where I actually faced Cubic Beasts. But, uh, yes, so yes, the movie is causing Cubic Bees to come out, Dark Magician support, new Dark Magician support, and new Blue Eyes support. Now, <laughs> why this card is so interesting and why I think it will, it is something that I was, to me, worth talking about. Because the fact that it just special summons a Dark Magician if destroyed by battle or card effect. Uh, this is a movie promo in the, for the OCG, uh, if you go watch the movie. <laughs> Between May 13th and the 20th, um, yes, this oh, this is actually really interesting to me, and I'm really excited. Personally, I never really liked spellcasters except for you know the Odd Eyes Magician, uh, which I hopefully will have a deck profile of that coming up soon. But this card just just makes blue Eye, or makes Dark Magician playable so much because of the fact that you just draw into it and you're just like, hey, you know, why not? So, I mean, if you play it, I definitely suggest play one of it, because why not? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's on YGO Pro, uh, on the, definitely the desktop, um, the desktop uh, program, but I don't know if it's on the Android program. Don't quote me on that. But I definitely will be posting a link of this card in the description below, and yes, that's really... All right, now, the last topic I want to talk about. This is... Not a news topic to me, personally. I'm getting a phone call. Sorry about that, I had a phone call, my sister called. But anyway, so yes, this is a personal topic that I want to talk about. I won't make it too long because of the video. Um, I mean, I don't want, it's not really news, but it's something that I just want to talk about for a quick second. Cosmos! I mentioned it at the beginning how much I hate Cosmos. I hate them. I fucking hate them. And I personally think uh, they should have been hit the ban list. I didn't really talk about it too much in my ban list video. Uh, but it's something that I recently noticed since the new Shining Victories support came out. Uh, it bothered me so much the fact that they're so overpowered and there's kind of almost... There, I can't say there's no way to get over them, but they are definitely a very hard deck to deal with. Uh, especially for Rogue decks, uh, Tier 2 decks, and uh, obviously Tier 3 decks. Um, because they're they're meta, they're fucking meta, and I hate it. I hate it so much. Um, so you know, if my take on Cosmos, if they've been around for quite a few formats, quite a few major formats, um, and it just it bothers me. It bothers me so much the fact that they're so powerful, and that the fact that they've been around so long. Uh, if they weren't number one, they were you know they were number two, and it's because there was some stupid lockdown against them and now that they have so much support and so much like fuck yourself support uh that's what I, yeah that's what i call decks i hate cosmos uh so that's what that's what i call go that's what i call support um that's what i call support that is overpowered i call it go fuck yourself support uh because when it hits field you're just like go fuck yourself uh but yeah i don't like I don't know. I just it bothers me that they're around and they're so hard to deal with, and they're a big problem. So if you agree with me, go ahead and post in the comments. Go ahead, and post why you hate Cosmos, or hey, go ahead and post the deck that uh, you hate the most. And you know that's what I'll do at the end of every uh, just let, or at the end of every news video. I'll pose a question, uh, and the question is, uh, what deck do you hate the most? Go ahead and post in the comments. Go ahead and tell me why you hate them. Um, yeah, that's really about it. So this series is called Just Let Me Complain. If you haven't noticed, that's why it's called Just Let Me Complain News. Uh, I talk about news 
uh, it's the news aspect. Uh, but I talk about it. I complain about stuff if I don't like it. I do good complaints and bad complaints of stuff like that. Uh, and also, if there's a big topic or a big situation that is kind of news, like the Cosmos, they're kind of news. They weren't hit on the ban list. Uh, and the ban list is kind of old news right now. Uh, but, again, the ban list came out. It's garbage. I hate it. Go fuck yourself. Anyways, I... Uh, well, yeah, I'll talk about news. I talk about stuff I just want to complain about. That's why it's called Just Let Me Complain. And it will come up every Saturday at noon. And if it's late, at, at worst, it will be on... It will be uploaded and able for you to watch on Saturday. I will record... It doesn't matter when I record it. Um, but it will be up guaranteed every Saturday. This is something because I'm working harder because I have... I'm pushing myself to be to work harder on the channel and actually make it so it's something and make a something of it have a small community. Nothing I don't want nothing big because this is all for fun. I play Yu-Gi-Oh for fun. Like it's Yu-Gi-Oh has always just been a big passion of mine. It's something I rarely talk about. <laughs> that I try not that I, I don't want to talk too much about it because I know I'll blab and I will just go and go and go. But so I'm trying to make it short. The channel, I just want to make, I'm working harder on the channel to make it more fun, look better, look more professional, I guess the best way you put it, and try to be another source outlet for everyone to come talk to. Um, and anything I don't know about, I will do my best to research before I just go talking about it. Um, so yeah, that's really about it. I don't want to ramble because I could ramble for hours. And this will also be my way to communicate with you guys personally, not only through my deck profiles and everything else, my random stories, and playing video games. Because the video games, that's really, that's my gift from me to you, uh, is me playing video games. Guys, go ahead and suggest video games, and I will definitely play them. I'll do my best to play them as quickly as possible, plus I also want to play the games that I want to play. Um, and yeah, that's really about it. So... Thank you guys so much for watching Just Let Me Complain News. Uh, like I said, it'll be up every Saturday at the minimum. At the minimum, up sometime during Saturday. But I will try to make sure it's recorded with the most recent news up to me uploading it. Uh, and yeah, that's really that's about it. Um, but I'll try to keep it too close to as noon as possible on Saturdays. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. All the links to all the articles and all the social media for me will be in the description below. Thank you guys and have a wonderful, beautiful night, day thing, or whatever. And don't forget guys, just let me complain.